straight. You say your uh, mother was eating your cheese without your permission. Yes, sir. You got upset, drove to the shops to buy some more, and then you had some sort of accident and ended up inside a container bound for Morocco. Mm, that's it. Hello, I'm Sarah Kadrinka. You're watching the fan carpet, and I'm here at the movie premiere of I Love My Mum. So I'm now with the director. Um, so I want to ask you, how was it working with um, a comedy movie when you usually work with horror movies? I, I was dying to do a comedy. I just needed to wait a little bit, find the sort of idiot in myself, <laughs> and then write it. And then that happened, and it was. Uh, it became I Love My Mum. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's been great. I mean, I, you know, when you are working in a comedy, you are thinking about comedy setups, about happy stuff, etc., etc., yeah. and you don't get drawn into a dark space. So it's, it was, you know, it was good. I had a fantastic time doing it. Lovely. And what was the inspiration behind this? Oh God, uh, life itself. <laughs> I was born in Spain, but I've been in the UK a long time. Yeah. Um, I've always been sort of searching to see where my home is, mm -hmm. and this is a little bit what those two guys there yeah. go through. You know, trying to find a way back, and not only find a way back to their home, but actually discovering who they are and, yeah. and how they can relate together, and the identity of Ron's father, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So I guess yes. Uh, um, an accumulation of anecdotes that uh, stay in my head and somehow they exploded into the script yeah and then the movie yeah definitely and it's quite you know kind of teamwork in the end getting back together and getting back home so. yeah I mean they have to team up I mean they are obviously opposites in a way mm -hmm. um, you know Kirsten that plays Olga is the crazy one Ron is a more serious character yeah. and, and discovering life in a way as they travel through mm -hmm. uh, and it was just yes, basically working with with uh, Kirsten and with uh, with Tommy French it was just basically you know having fun mm -hmm. getting into the scene a little bit of impro and you know and getting things done. lovely and what were the challenges because because you have to travel, you know, four different countries. No, I wouldn't the, say the that. challenges were absolutely everything. In a way, the the bonkers nature of the movie is actually mm -hmm. it was the bonker uh, uh, setups that we were encountering. You know, we were finding problems all the way through mm -hmm. that had to be resolved uh, uh, because shooting in Morocco was uh, super complicated. I can imagine climbing the mountains, going in the sea. We shot in Italy, we shot in Spain, we shot in France. We we shot in, in the UK, we shot everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Wow. Challenges were, I could speak hours about the challenges, <laughs> but let's just say there were many. So, what was your favorite part of filming? The favorite parts? All of it. I mean, it truly was an adventure filming yeah. this movie. So, I think that from day one to the very end, it was the whole thing, the whole pizza was a, 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 my favorite moment. I couldn't really find one. Lovely, thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got to get out of here, Ron. Get out of here! No one, absolutely no one, could part with you. But my name's Martin, Ron Martin. I should probably pronounce Martin. No, it, it, it's Martin. Ron Martin. Ron Martin. Ron Martin. 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 Yeah, Martin. Martin. <laughs>Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.